Hello, it's Zoe here in my kitchen to show you some of my favorite healthy swaps for drinks that you're probably having every single day. And drinks are one of those things that we often forget have calories, have fats, have carbohydrates, and can actually make a big difference over the course of the day when we add up those calories, add up those macronutrients. Now, of course, if you're a pumpkin spice latte girl, or if you have a favorite drink, you can totally work that into your day. You certainly do not have to deprive yourself or change anything. I just wanna share with you some tips that I'm currently using to ensure that I'm keeping my calories a little bit lower, which is helping me to get the calories that I want from other areas and foods that I can actually eat. Because if I drink a high calorie drink, I often don't feel full. Whereas when I eat a meal, I quite often feel full. So let's go ahead and get into a few of these comparisons. Comparison number one is I've got my big milk frother here and some espresso. Now we can see how much milk and froth and foam goes into a full-blown latte or cappuccino. When you have a latte or cappuccino, you're having at least one cup of milk. Whereas what I prefer to do is an order called a misto. So Americano misto means you have your espresso at the bottom, then you have hot water, just like an Americano, and then a little bit of steamed or foamed milk on top. So you're maybe only having about a quarter cup of your milk of choice. So Americano misto instead of Americano, or instead of a latte or a cappuccino, that is switch number one to help save some calories. And another quick little thing I wanna share with you that I have most mornings is a London Fog. So what that is, is Earl Grey tea. So I've got my Earl Grey tea bag and I've filled up the mug to about three quarters of the way. And then, oh, I missed my other, one sec. Right over here, <laughs> I have this is the little frother that I use every day because the other one makes way too much and I just don't need that. And you can see the foam on this is absolutely gorgeous. I use the So Nice Soy Barista. It is phenomenal. Oh my gosh, love this. And that is my London Fog Latte that I have every day. Again, I'm not having a full latte with like a super concentrate at the bottom and then a bunch of milk. I'm having water with my flavor and then a little bit, about a quarter cup of my soy milk. London Fog, this is the tea bag that I use. Earl Grey, cream of Earl Grey from David's Tea. It is phenomenal and tastes so good. One more thing I wanted to share with you is these skinny syrups. So these are zero calories, zero sugar. Yes, it is an artificial sweetener. So if that's something you're against, then this may not be right for you. But for me, I feel really good having this every day. I love putting it in with my frother to make the milk just taste delicious. And again, it's zero calories, zero sugar. I'm only having one little pump of this and it makes a really, really big difference. So I just found this at HomeSense it's um, Jordan Skinny Syrups. They also have it at Blue Star if you're in Canada. So I'd highly suggest checking that out as well. So those are kind of my hot drink options, Americano Misto or London Fog. But be careful if you go to Starbucks, read what's in there. They will show you. I was so surprised when I was having a coconut milk cappuccino. It was like 15 grams of carbohydrates. Like, that's, that's a good bit of something that I didn't even think about, right? So that's really important to consider. So those are my kind of hot drink options. Moving to my cold drink options, an easy one. If you're somebody who regularly drinks pop, I would highly suggest switching to something like a San Pellegrino or Perrier water. I also love to have this in the evening and I will put it in a wine glass. I'll put some ice in there. I'll have my glass straw and I'll have it as I'm cooking instead of wine so that I'm just gonna maybe have about a glass of wine with dinner instead of maybe two glasses because I drink one glass of wine while I'm cooking and another one while I'm eating. So switching to something like this in the place of pop or an alcoholic beverage can go a really long way again because we've got this zero calorie option there. 
Then I want to talk about juice. Juice is something that I feel like a lot of us aren't really drinking anymore. My husband, on the other hand, he adores his orange juice, but he weighs 100 pounds more than me, and he lifts big heavy weights, and he can have more carbohydrates than I do. I really want orange juice. What I'll do is um, just put a splash of orange juice and then a bunch of water so that it's kind of diluted. It still tastes great, but even better than doing that is trying out something like Amino H2O. Amino H2O is my BCAA, branch chain amino acid supplement that helps us to recover from our workouts, helps us to build lean muscle tissue, helps give us extra endurance and energy during our workouts and tastes delicious. All we do is mix it. You could put it in a glass if you like, but I'm more of a shaker cup gal myself um, because I like to be able to just shake it up and have it as I go throughout the day to keep kind of shaking it up. So I just put a shaker cup on, make sure the top is on and shake it up. One beautiful lady says she has it and she loves it. I know, Amino H2O is one of my absolute favorite tricks for getting a sweet little treat throughout the day that is actually gonna help you to stay lean but also taste so, so good and is zero calories, zero carbs, and zero sugar. So, oh, it's so good. So, you could have this, if you're somebody who gets totally bored drinking water, this will help you drink some more water. But you could also have it um, during your workouts is the ideal time to have it. It also has an electrolyte matrix in there that is really gonna help to just, you feel so, so good after your workout. So it's kind of like, you know, how you'll see athletes have the, um, Gatorade, but that's like super high sugar and high carbs. This kind of does the same thing for us on a smaller scale. It gives us back what our body kind of needs throughout. And it is called Amino H2O. Amino H2O, because it's amino acid supplement. Um, so that is that. Now, the last few things that I had that I wanted to share are lemon water. Now, if you're like me, sometimes you can be a little bit lazy. Now. I, yes, some weeks I will cut up a lemon and boom, I will just have my lemon water good to go. But often I love Santa Cruz organic lemon juice because it's just done. So all I would do is pour a little drop, not too much, into a glass of water and then there's my lemon water for the day. It's done. I don't have to be chopping or doing anything like that. And sometimes when it comes to tricks like this, you want something quick, right? Which is just another reason why Amino H2O is such a good choice. Last thing, I'm gonna get to drinking all my drinks. I'm gonna have a great day and I mean, I'm just loving this, I should do this more often. Last thing I wanted to share, and I have to share with you where you can get Amino H2O. I have it at the link in my bio for a great price for our special followers to make sure that you can get hooked up with Amino H2O if it's something you wanna to add to your routine. So many women in our community absolutely love it and really do feel like it plays a big role in their success. So head on over to the link in my bio or around this video to get yours. Last thing, Ontario, that's where I'm from, Ontario grass-fed beef bone broth. Now, if you're vegan, there are like veggie options of this as well. But a beef broth, for one cup, it's 50 calories, one gram of carbs, and 14 grams of protein, which is wild. But this time of year, having something warm, like a beef broth, can be a really good option, especially in the afternoon. You're feeling a little bit peckish, but maybe you don't wanna make a snack. You could just heat this up on the stove or microwave and have some beef broth to sip on. Um, sounds kind of maybe a little bit gross, but it's actually quite good. It's kind of salty. So if you get a little salty craving, this could be a good option for you as well. So that was kind of rapid fire. I hope I covered everything. I hope that makes sense. And I hope that you now have a little bit of inspiration when it comes to what drinks are best for you and the reasons why you're choosing the drinks that you are to make sure that they are aligned with your goals are gonna help you to eat more food because the last thing I'd want is for us to have a 200 calorie drink and then end up trying to sacrifice and have a small salad for lunch. Like that's not much of a trade on the regular basis. Sure, if you're gonna go out for brunch and have 
mimosas and a latte and all of this, then that is, is totally cool. But on the daily and on the regular, I think these simple little tricks are gonna help you to really feel like you know what you're doing when it comes to the foods and the drinks that you're choosing, but are also gonna make a difference in your results from your workouts, your ability to release some weight, and your ability to still feel energized and great during all of that too. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with a friend and I will see you again soon. Big hugs, lots of love, bye-bye.